So a while back, I built my own computer. I picked out each part that I wanted to whatever specifications that I wanted. I uh, made it look amazing, as you can see. But one of the downsides is the motherboard that I chose did not have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, which kind of sucks. I had an ethernet uh, port into my room, so I had the internet. But if I move my computer to another room, I cannot use the internet. I had no idea what to do. When I purchased all these pieces, I didn't know how to add Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, but now I know that you need to install a network card. So this is the network card that I bought from Amazon. I got it for about 40 bucks, and it supports up to speeds of 1.3 gigabit per second or 1,300 megabit per second, which is much more than most people need, but I wanted to kind of like future-proof my computer. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can install a network card and add Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to your system. Okay, so the first step in building anything with your PC is to make sure that it is turned off and disconnected from the power. So the first thing is to flip this switch off and then unplug the power cord from the PSU. And also you wanna make sure that you are not uh, on carpet with socks on because when you are messing with any kind of component in here, you could electrocute yourself or you could fry one of your components, which you do not wanna do. Okay, let's see what I got in the package. So it came with the actual network card itself. It came with a little shield for the back of the computer, which in this case, this is a smaller one, which I do not need. Came with two antennas, which we'll install last and then the USB to Bluetooth cable. All right, so let's get the front and back panels taken off of the computer and let's go ahead and start. Okay, I'm gonna go handheld for a little second. So this is the inside of my computer. You see the fans, the motherboard, CPU fan, the graphics card right there, and that little port right there, right there in the middle. That's where the network card is going to go. This is a PCIe expansion slot. So this is the network card. So this is where it plugs into the PCI Express slot. This little white connector, that's what the cable for the Bluetooth connects to the motherboard and then this is where the back of the computer is and where the antennas go. So this is the PCI Express slot we're gonna put the network card in so the shield on the other side which I think is this one so I'm gonna have to unscrew this and take this off. Okay so I put the computer on its side so it's easier to see on the camera so we have the network card here and we have the PCI Express spot, spot right here. So we line it up with the correct notches in place. We line it up and just put it in. There we go, the little click. So now we know it's in there. So now we want to put the little screw back in the shield right there to make sure it's secure. Everything's tightened down. So now, so now all we have to do is to install the Bluetooth to USB cord. So we have to line it up into the correct place. Kind of hard to see on the camera. Okay, now that's securely placed in there. So all we have to do is 
to connect it to the USB port, which is right over here. So I'm gonna do this so that I also kind of hide this wire. So what I think I'm gonna do is come around here, kind of tuck it under some of these wires. Okay, now I plug it in to the USB. Just like that. Okay, so I plugged the computer back in to all of my setup and I thought I would have to go and download some extra drivers, but as soon as I turned on the system, the Microsoft actually just, just auto installed the programs, the drivers. So I've tested the Bluetooth and I can connect to my AirPods now, which is awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is just a little quick video, uh, nothing too professional or anything. I just wanted to share some tips for any new computer builders, uh, people who are in my position. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.